The Great Race of Pittsburgh is a wonderful event that the city puts on every year, and it all starts here at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center for the expo that takes place every Friday and Saturday before the race. Runners come, they pick up their t-shirts and their runner's bib, and they get very geared up and excited, and it's a wonderful community that comes together for the race that will take place Sunday morning, starting at Frick Park. Considered one of Pittsburgh's longest standing and most popular yearly community athletic events, nearing a complete sellout, runners from all over the region are expected to lace up and join together to run the mostly downhill course. Uh, Pittsburgh's very exciting, so there's a lot more thrill just even in the atmosphere, so it's fun. The atmosphere is amazing, everybody cheering you on from the streets and stuff. It's really fun, I'm really, really excited for it. Many runners this year are participating for the very first time. I'm a novice also, and I think she was like, oh, come on, come and do this. I was like, all right, sure. But I think like the fact that everyone runs around here or bikes or does a lot of outdoor activity, that's what kind of motivates me. Like, oh, look at all these people running outside. It looks really cool outside. Oh, let's go run before the snow comes because it's going to be a super long winter, and I'm not looking forward to that. The morning of the race, thousands piled on free shuttle buses as a therapeutic outlet and I just have, I guess, ran with it, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> I'm here at the starting line for the Richard S. Caligiuri Great Race where over 11,000 runners have converged on the starting line. So please come out, cheer on your neighbors. We will be finishing shortly at Point State Park. Yeah. Go runners! <laughs> And to find out my time, I'll have to go online and see the results at RunGreatRace.com. Reporting for Point News, I'm Julia Kramer.